Hey, this is John Wade with the Steamboat Group, and I'm privileged to be here with my good friend Kelly Landers at the Boys and Girls Club. She's their development director or something exactly like that. And I just gotta say, I've admired Kelly ever since I've been in Steamboat. She's not only a successful business person, an amazing parent, but has made giving back um, central to her business and now life in Steamboat. And so I've always admired her for you that. Thank you for all you do and for helping inspire us to do what we do. Um, we're here to kick off the Boys and Girls Club Youth of the Year uh, Awards and the Steamboat Group is offering a $2,500 match that we're going to go out and double with the Boys and Girls Club and your help um, to provide scholarships to the kids in the Boys and Girls Club. Now Kelly will tell you how that actually works, um, but at the end we'll give you a link to ybcf.org slash TSG, it's the Yampa Valley Community Foundation, a legit 501c3, which Kelly is also on the board of, <laughs> and uh, so you get your tax deduction. We never actually touch the money, but once it comes in and we get to the $5,000 uh, total with our 2505 we will write a check or transfer over to Boys and Girls Club account. So Kelly, tell us what um, this event's about. Yeah, so uh, thank you, John, for that very nice introduction. I, I feel, feel good about myself and what I do. Um, the Boys and Girls Club is an amazing organization, and the Youth of the Year really shows how great the club is. So the Youth of the Year are the kids who have come up through the club, and then they are staff here at the club. Oh, and awesome. so they tell a story about how the club inspired them to become the great people they are today. And that is the Youth of the Year. We have six nominees this year. We have three from Steamboat High School, one from Yampa Valley High School, and two from Moffat County High School. And on February 10th, they'll gather and they'll tell us their story, and one of them will represent the club then at the regional competition. And part of this too is not only do they tell their story and they show how the club helped them become who they are, but they also get a scholarship to go on to pursue their dreams. You know, and these kids have big dreams and it's fun to watch them go from the little teeny kids who are wild and crazy to the grown adults they are today. And today I'm joined by two of our Youth of the Year nominees. So first I'll introduce Avalon and Avalon's gonna tell us um, what the Youth of the Year program means to her. Yeah, okay, so to me, I think it's about the tradition and how I've grown up seeing all the people above me, working above me, go through this and do this whole process, and it looks not only fun, but really resourceful, and they get a lot out of it. And I also think it's a really good platform to speak about what great things the Boys and Girls Club does for the children that go here, and for the staff that work here as well. Nice. And I also have Charlotte with me, and Charlotte has been a club kid since the age of like six or something. Yeah. Six. So she has really come to the club, and the club has mentored her and helped her find her way. And she just graduated early from the Yampa Valley High School, so we're very proud of Charlotte. And Charlotte, will you share with folks what the Boys and Girls Club means to you? Um, I just think the Boys and Girls Club is like a really awesome organization. It helps kids like have a safe place to go after school and interact with like older kids and younger kids and just really get to socialize and have a good time. And Charlotte or Avalon, how will this scholarship impact you and achieving your dreams after graduating from high school? Um, for me, uh, definitely help pay for college because it's expensive, <laughs> obviously, and um, I think give me some motivation to figure out exactly what I want to do because I do have this great opportunity that not everyone has. So. Yeah. And Charlotte, Ray, I'm kind of the same. It's like really helping me kickstart the rest of like my life and getting everything together because before I like had no idea what to do. Yeah. So, yeah. so John, part of the program is not only do they present their story on the 10th, but on Wednesday night, they'll work with a Toastmaster for, to perfect their three minute speech they give without any notes. Oh, that's yes. awesome. Yes, and then on Monday night here coming up, they do an interview session with the judges, and then the four judges have the task of picking who's gonna represent the club at the regional level. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, I just love what Boys and Girls Clubs do. Our kids came to it, many of our friends' kids came, and it truly makes a difference here in Steamboat. So if any of you would like to join us in supporting this effort, uh, please go to ybcf.org slash TSG, and, um, 
And when we get to 2,500, I have this habit of doubling down on things that work. And so let's get there quickly and maybe it'll become a $5,000 match for a total of 10. You game for that, Kelly? I am game. That would be life changing for these young people who've worked so hard. Cool. Yes, and thank you, John and the Steve Oak group for all you do for town, every event I'm ever at, which I do a lot of events. <laughs> There's always the Stevo group there, so thank you for supporting Stevo. Well, thank you for inspiring us, and I'm happy to be a part of this for the Boys and Girls Club. Hope you can join us at the event February 10th. I'm looking forward to it. If not, please consider supporting the Boys and Girls Club, either now in this drive or just on an annual basis. It's one of those great things that makes Steamboat special. Thank you. Yeah.